Hey, today we're gonna to talk about car insurance. How boring! Welcome to Harper's Podcast. It's time to get my car insurance renewed. We all go through this necessary evil at some point of the year, like yours might be in January, someone else is in December. Always happens when you have to spend money on something else and you never have money at all. It's time to get your car insurance renewed. I have a bit of a rant and I'm a little bit frustrated because I think this is probably the third year in the row that it's happened to me where it's time to get renewed and they do an auto renewal on your car insurance. And if you don't do your due diligence and actually investigate better options, then chances are you're getting ripped off. I think for the past three years, if I didn't take the time to actually renew my policy at my own accord, and rather than let it automate into another policy with that same company, I would be ripped off. And here's a prime example of what I mean by a large amount of the population is getting effed over. Okay, so what you can see on your screen now is my existing policy, which is right along the bottom here. So your renewal premium comparison. And along the top is what's being presented to me for my car. So I'm not gonna bother putting the name of the car or anything like that, but please understand that the existing conditions on the policy haven't changed um, from what I've renewed it at and what they've automated it at as well. So as you can see at the bottom here, $1,994.79 for my existing policy. And the new policy is gonna go up uh, to $2,529.58. So that's an increase of $534.79 for the renewal over a 12 month period for the years, you know, for the over 24, is uh, 2024 to 2025. So that's where we're currently at. Now, if I was to leave this, then the policy would automatically roll over to, to the new one um, for the year. And, you know, hunky-dory, I'll just go ahead and just continue to pay my fortnightly installments, uh, whatever I've been, what, whatever I'm being charged. And another thing that really irked me about this policy renewal that I did online is the fact that I jumped on the online chat portal on their website and said to them, I want to cancel my renewal policy and I want to implement the policy that I've just done on your website. And they automatically went, okay, no worries. So there wasn't any consideration to even look at the existing renewal policy that they automatically set up because I'd gone ahead and done this and they've clearly looked at it and gone, oh shit, yeah, it looks pretty cheap there. But you know, ugh, that's you just don't know until you really work it out. If you don't take the time to either look around for a new policy and you choose to let the company give you a new re you know, renewal policy, then chances are you're gonna be losing a lot of money. So here's a prime example of what's happened. So what I've done, and I've done this for the past three years, is that I've actually used the same insurer, but what I've done is I've gone to one of those websites where it's called comparethemarket.com.au, so we're based in Australia, and what it does, you can put in all the particulars of your vehicle, and then it will give you a listing of um, all the different competitors that are out there and the different pricing they can do for you on your insurance, whether it be your car, house contents, boat, or your children, or your cat, or your dog. It's up to you what you want to insure, or your grandparents, or whoever it is. But uh, <laughs> essentially, going through this process, you know, it's depends on how much information you want to go, how deep you want to get into it and how much time you've got. But honestly, spending the time in the evening for at least an hour to do this process is going to save you money. So here's a prime example of how much money I'm, I've actually going to save because I don't chose to do a new policy with the same company, but I sat down and took the time to actually do it. So here is what my new policy is actually gonna cost. So there you go, on screen, $1,779. So that's basically, it's $215.67 cheaper than my existing policy that's gonna run out. So I've essentially saved myself a total of $750.46 from the auto renewal cost. So honestly, Share this video as much as possible to give people an example of what they're looking at. Um, look, I'm not gonna actually tell you what insurance company it is. As I said earlier, you know, I don't know what type of legalities there are by me jumping online and just having a rant like this, you know? If there's a, a consumer you know, current affairs uh, TV show in any given state, then use this video, contact me, or do an actual spiel on it that gives people the right information rather than promoting a service that's online to compare the market. Just do the right thing. But this is a prime example of how much money you'll be saving over a 12 month period on new car insurance. And you know, if someone like me who finished doing maths in year 10 during high school can work this out and sit down and, and you know realize that now he's got some extra money to save to buy stuff through Amazon over the next 12 months and use it on Afterpay, then fucking trust me, you're saving some money. <laughs>
But nah, seriously, just look, that is, an, that is absolutely crazy to think that there are millions of people on the planet that are getting ripped off by their insurance company just because of an auto renewal that someone has overlooked and they haven't bothered taking the time to actually see what other options are out there. And with the current times being so difficult in terms of the cost of living, rents going up, house pricing, food, uh, petrol, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Everyone else, you know, we're letting governments and everything control the planet. You know, it almost sounds like it's a protest right now, but that's the problem. The, these companies are taking control of your money where you should be taking control of your money yourself. Anyway, rant over, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All the best. Do it. Look into it. Take care. I'll take a breath. I'll have a quick water now. All right. Have a good night. This planes just keep flying over. So thank God I was able to do that as quick as possible before there was, you know, background noise or anything like that. So anyway, this is a bit of a rant at the end of the video. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.